Hey, what's up, friends? God bless you. My name is Mike Purcell. Uh, I pastor a church here in Madera, California, right in center of California. And I just wanted to get on here and share a, a quick video. I don't want to prolong it. want to make it quick. But this will um, pertain to a certain topic and to certain people, actually, this quick video here. But it is for people to be in prayer about and for people to agree and get in agreement with me if you would like to. I know I'm not the only one that's praying for our schools and praying for the education system in our country, America, but also around the world as well. But anyways, just real quick, I want to share this just to encourage uh, those of you that are teachers, those of you that are administrators or in administration at schools here in uh, America and across the globe if need be. But um, just a little background real quick on myself. I've been... Um, praying for the schools, and I know I'm not the only person, but I've been praying for the schools uh, the past several years. Uh, God even had me for a season uh, walking the campus here at a local school here in my town that I live in, uh, praying um, in the morning before school started, before anybody got on campus, things like that, just declaring the word of the Lord, speaking over the campus, praying for the students, praying for the teachers, administrators, uh, not just for my town that I live in, the schools that, that, that are in the town that I live in, but also nationwide, our colleges, elementary schools, junior highs, things like that. So God's had me on that uh, for a pretty good season now, and I take it serious, and maybe he doesn't have you on that, and that's okay, but it's still good to pray and agree that God will move and bless people uh, in that way, right? Well, anyways, so real quick, just a quick encouragement um, to, like I said, the administrators, teachers, I had a dream back on um, January the 18th of this year, 24, 2024, and in this dream, I was talking to a uh, <clears throat> athletic director that was on a campus here in the city that I live in, and in this dream, we were just talking, and he said, hey, I want to tell you something. I said, what? He said, this year, I'm putting Psalms 25 on all of our athletic gear, and the dream was over. So that next morning I woke up and uh, of course, right off the bat, I knew it was a dream from the Lord. So I immediately opened my Bible to Psalms 25 to see what Psalms 25 was, what the chapter was about. And the chapter is about forgiveness. It's about repentance. It's about deliverance, the whole chapter. It's basically God's people coming back to him, asking for repentance, uh, asking for forgiveness, I should say, repenting for falling falling away from God, going astray, and God would bring deliverance to them. And so the Lord was showing me out of that, and he spake, spoke to me, and he said, listen, he said, 2025 is going to be a start of that on these campuses. I'm going to move by my power. I'm going to move with my love. I'm going to correct some things, make some adjustments. I'm going to deal with things that aren't godly. I'm going to deal with things that aren't right, that's hurting the children, that's hurting people's lives. And so I really do believe that God is going to do that. Now, let me say this to you administrators and to you teachers that are on these campuses, maybe in our nation, if you're listening to this in another uh, state besides California, listen to this. I really believe this. God spoke to me this morning and told me to encourage you and tell you, listen, do not be afraid. The things that you've been concerned about, some of you have been concerned about the stuff that they're having you speak out of your mouth to these children. Some of you are really concerned on what's going on in a lot of these kids' lives and the deception and the lies that's actually literally hurting their life, not making their life any better at all. And God wanted me to tell you, you've been concerned about that, but God said, don't worry, do not be afraid. The Lord said he's going to protect you. He's going to keep you. And the Lord wanted me to share with you as well that there are people, including myself, and I know I know several people just in my church and in the town that I live in, how serious we are with the schools, the other churches in the town I live in. We go to the school campuses. We're able to pray. We're able to meet with teachers and encourage teachers and bless them and administrators and things like that. So God said, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I'm going to protect you. God is going to protect you. You keep standing on the moral ground. Keep standing for what is right. Keep standing on love and truth and watch God provide for you. He's going to protect you. And I really do believe that you need to keep praying for a move of God. Keep praying. Listen, you're not alone. You are not alone in this. We see you. We know who you are by the Spirit of the Lord. So keep praying. Keep seeking God about this. We have your back. I really believe 
that's Psalm 25. Check out that chapter. It's going to be a pivotal, pivotal, pivotal point. <laughs> I'll get that out. It's going to be a, a an awakening happen in 2025 where God's going to start some things on your campus. Those of you guys that are on campus that are maybe holding a Bible class, have a Bible club. I'm wearing FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes. If you're on campus doing that, I encourage you keep going. Coaches, keep loving on the kids. Keep preaching truth. Keep teaching them how to be responsible. But listen, God is going to start moving on campuses. Just be there. Be ready to love. But teachers, administrators, those of you that have been concerned, God has you. Nothing to be concerned about. The Bible says he's going to perfect those things that concern you. So know that we have your back. Know that we're standing strong with you. Listen, I have three, uh, both my daughter-in-laws and my son are school teachers. They're in the education system. And I'm telling you right now, we're going for God. God's going to visit your campus and it's going to change everything. So we're with you. God bless you. I love you. If you're a teacher, administrator, and you have friends in that um, sphere of influence, you have friends that are working that, colleagues in this, Share this with them. Let this, encur let this encourage them. But I'm telling you, Psalms 25 is coming to pass in 2025. There's going to be people coming back to God. There's going to be people asking God to forgive them. And God is going to bring deliverance and healing and help to them. God bless you. I hope this blessed you today. Have a great day.